Hello, it is Monday, July 12th, 2021. I'm Chris Remo, and this is my New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. Uh, it's a Monday, so it's the beginning of the week, and hopefully we will kick it off with a nice, easy Monday crossword puzzle without too much trouble. Uh, but quickly, before we move on to that, I wanted to um, briefly return to Sunday's puzzle to point out a couple things that uh, as some people in the comments mentioned, I actually forgot to myself revisit. Um, so if you want to not get spoiled on this puzzle, um, skip ahead about probably 30 seconds or so. Uh, I won't spend long. But I did want to, I, I realized I never actually revisited the title of this puzzle, No Ruse. And if you remember, uh, all of the theme answers were common phrases with a, a ru sound in them, and the r was removed, leaving just the oo. And what that means is you can read the title of the puzzle in two ways, which is even more clever. You can read it as no r use, no use of the letter r, uh, and also as no ruse, no, uh, no ruse as in the plural of ru, because all of the rus have been removed. So that was just one more little bit of wit from the constructor Ashish Vengsarkar. And then the last thing to mention that I uh, that I never went back and looked at, I was so puzzled by this 27 down clue, il be there, il meaning the French word for island. And um, I ended up, I suppose, filling it purely with crosses. And the answer is mer, which is the French for the sea. So the island will be there in the sea. Very, very good, very clever, good answer. Just a great crossword. Anyway, uh, let's move on to today's puzzle, the Monday. And um, just want to make sure that the down answers are legible. Yes, don't want to make that mistake again. All right, let's get going with this Monday. Uh, hard to understand. It could be, it could be tricky, but it's not because the A of DNA is acid. Something nucleic acid. I don't remember what the D is duonucleic or something like that? Because I think, yeah, I'm not sure. I don't know. Oscar winning Malik, Rami Malik. Do some last minute studying is cram. A leatherworks pointed tool is an awl. Fancy work from a manicurist. Not sure. Hard to understand is arcane though. Squeeze money from is extort. Uh, it makes an auto shine, car wax, Song lyric before short and stout. <laughs> I'm a little teapot. And actually, I didn't even notice this, but we already see that we've got a clue, um, uh, sorry, a theme going on here. And we see Molly has been highlighted in circles. Maybe this is some sort of geographical theme. We'll see. Fancy work from Manicurist. It'll be nail something. It might be nail gel. The Simpsons character voiced by Nancy Cartwright. Uh, that's Bart, I think. Oh, nail, it must be nail art, the fancy work. To Sully, not sure offhand. Check this out. Look, look at this crossword. Format of much AM radio is talk, talk radio. Metal in a mine is ore. What Jack Spratt couldn't eat in a nursery rhyme, he could not eat fat. He could eat no fat, his wife could eat no lean. Um, to transform using mobile technology as a market. Uh, I'm not sure. But vegan protein source is tofu and a spirited horse. It's an Arab, I believe. Um, Transform using mobile technology as a market. I wonder if this is something like U Uberfy or something, the way that everything becomes the Uber of something. TikTok and Zoom for two apps. It's sort of relevant to the previous clue. Not worth debating is moot. To feel sorry for is to pity. If one is out of practice, as I felt uh, a couple times this week with crosswords, one is rusty. A surrounding glow is an aura. Attorney General under George W. Bush. Oh boy, I'm gonna remember this once I have some more crosses, but I don't quite yet. Uh, heir to the throne is what we're looking for here. Oh man, this might really be Uberify, which is terrible. I really do not like that. Oh, well, maybe it's not though. 1960s Ron Howard TV role. Is that Opie? Uh, I'm gonna remove this Uberify. Oh, Uberize it must be, which is almost as bad. It's not quite as bad as the as my incorrect guess of uh, Uberify, but still not not crazy about that. 
Oklahoma City, not sure. Uh, cross my heart and hope to die. Facing the pitcher, I assume that refers to a uh, baseball player being at bat. Um, oh, this attorney general, cannot remember. Sully, not sure. Exit of fertility lab, oh boy, I'm not going to make this mistake again. I mis-entered mis mis this last week as... OV, and I'm certainly not going to do that again because that was what caused me the most grief out of any of these videos so far. The end of a cigarette or rifle is a butt. If we were in accord, we somethinged. Oklahoma City, this might be Enid, that looks like a name. Um, nephew of Donald Duck. Huey, Dewey, and Louie. I think Huey might be the only one that fits. Oops, what am I doing? Final authority is say so. 100 or 200 meter, for instance, is an event, is in a dash, something like that. Oh, here's another nephew of Donald Duck. That's funny. This one must be Louie. Um, some pork cuts are loins. The sound of a car or a goose is a honk. Gape could be... Gawk? Disrepute disreputable sort is a low life, probably. An international group with a 1970s U.S. embargo. That's probably OPEC, the Organization of Petroleum Exporting Countries, which actually I think came up in a puzzle last week. Uh, Taurus symbol. Uh, I'm not sure. Uh, let's, let's go back to some of these crosses here. Water in Spanish is agua. Uh, is there anything I haven't looked at here? Pull, off, pull, up, pull out all the stops. Could be go. Oh, oh, right. Attorney General under George W. Bush is Alberto Gonzalez. And the band with the 1983 number one hit, 62 across, is Toto. This is probably Africa. Ah, where this puzzle's circled letters can be found. So it is a geographical clue. And yes, here we have Togo. So that's um, it's coming together. A dog to avoid. Not sure. Ha ha, I suppose that's a laugh. Appeasing idiomatically. Uh, it'll be easier with some more crosses. A number that never goes down, unfortunately, is age. Um, what is this dog to avoid? A biter, I suppose. Um, to sully is to taint, okay, yep. And the, like the wire and paper clips are bent. That's straightforward. Um, Morrison, who said, a writer's life and work are not a gift to mankind. They are, they are its necessity. That would be Tony Morrison. To enlist. Might have guessed higher if I didn't have that Tony Morrison in there. Quaint lodgings would be inns. Writes, pens. If you write something, you can be said to pen it. Um, brought up the rear. It has a question mark, so it's some sort of pun. Southeast Europe's blank peninsula. Not sure offhand. Person who may speak with a brogue. That could be a Scot. We had a Scot, Scottish uh, sort of dialect or language related answer yesterday as well. Part of the body that's stubbed is a toe. Ill humor. Could that be a moo? Let's, let's look at some of the crosses. Designated drivers. Sh what designated drivers should be? They should be sober. Uh, home of Cincinnati, Ohio. A dipstick measures the level of oil in a car engine. Ill humor, ah, bile. Yeah, that's better. Grilled Japanese dish on skewers. Uh, probably chicken something because that fits here. And then Kenya probably fills out that theme uh, answer there. So that's chicken, ah, yakitori is what this is going to be. To telephone is to dial. This would be telephone as a verb, I believe. Uh, blank network, probably neural network, given the crosses. A killer whale is an orca. To give silent approval is to nod, and then that correctly fills black in French, which is noir. A unit that may be preceded by a kilo, by kilo, mega, or giga. That's byte. Kilobyte, for instance. University URL ending is edu. To nip in the bud is what this is looking for. To trick someone is to dupe them. Brought up the rear. Ah, I see. This is torqued. I've noticed in the last couple of years, the New York Times crossword has been putting in a big effort to modernize its slang answers. Um, 
uh, oh, Southeast Europe's Balkan Peninsula is what this would be, uh, which is nice. Another sort of little geographical nod there, even though it's it's uh, not part of the theme explicitly. A Taurus symbol. Ah, the bull, of course. Yes, that is the Taurus. Um, pull out all the stops. Why am I not seeing what that is? But this appeasing idiomatically must be throw one. No, throw. Uh, what am I doing here? Throw a bone to, throw something a bone to. Oh, throwing a bone to, because it's appeasing idiomatically, of course. Uh, ah, to pull out all the stops is to go big. We were in accord, ah, we jibed. That's what that is. Not jived, as is often uh, mis misstated here. And then to enlist is to join. So that's that's the uh, Monday puzzle. That was certainly a, uh, a very straightforward puzzle. Um, hopefully there wasn't too much in there that gave folks a lot of trouble. Um, but yeah, that was a good, good, fun puzzle for the most part. Um, was not crazy about, there was one thing I wasn't crazy about. What was it? Um, I don't even remember. So maybe it wasn't that bad. Oh, I don't know. Maybe it was all fine. Ah, Uber eyes. That not fine, terrible. Really don't like that. <laughs> I think that's that is an awful, an awful answer. Uh, but other than that, this was actually a really nice Monday puzzle. Um, it's got this nice theme, straightforward theme that um, it's nice in a, in a Monday because it, it actually sort of helps you fill in some of the other answers. So it's not just that the theme is an extra layer of challenge. You know, you don't necessarily need that on a Monday. On a Monday maybe the theme actually makes the whole puzzle solve a little smoother. So that, that was nice. And then um, just a, an extra little bit of geography as well was in there somewhere or other. Um, so that was nice. Good, solid puzzle. Um, I hope you enjoyed it. I hope you've been enjoying these. Um, and if you have, let me know in the comments. Um, maybe sign up for the, maybe subscribe to the channel if you would like to see these every day, because I do intend to keep doing them uh, until events uh, <laughs> cause me to do otherwise. I hope that the rain wasn't too bad. It's been drizzling here in North London today. And I hope that that did not show up on the mic because I can hear it in this room and there's not much I can do about it. Uh, but hopefully that was all right. Okay. I will be back tomorrow for another edition of the New York Times Crossword Daily Solve. And with that, I will take my leave. Goodbye and take care.